Hey everyone, I'm really excited for this video and you should be too because I'm gonna show you how to make a really spooky gothic coffin cake. And it's gonna be super simple, it's not gonna be all that complicated or crazy detailed or anything like that. Anybody can do this. Let's make some freaking coffin cake. As always, I'm gonna start off by showing you guys what you're gonna need. First, the utensils. A 9x9 square baking pan, an electric mixer, a glass measuring cup, a large mixing bowl, two medium sized bowls, a couple of spoons, a rubber scraper, a wire cooling rack, and a serrated knife. Next, food products. Flour, white sugar, powdered sugar, four eggs, vanilla, baking powder, seedless raspberry jam, milk, black food coloring, red food coloring, a packet of instant dry raspberry gelatin mix, cocoa powder, white chocolate chips, shortening, buttermilk or buttermilk powder, or sour milk, baking soda, and salt. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is make the cake. I'm gonna make a white cake because it's really basic and really easy, and that way I can dye it a color if I want to, which I do. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Since I'm making white cake, the first thing I need to do is separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. Combine your flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt into one of those medium bowls and set that aside. Now beat the shortening until smooth. Add the sugar and vanilla, beat some more. Now add the egg whites and beat until smooth. Then alternately add the flour and the buttermilk to your egg mixture. And beat well after each addition. Add a few drops of red food coloring and mix well. Grease and flour your baking pan. Then pour the batter into the baking pan with the help of a rubber scraper. Bake at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Let the cake cool in the pan on a cooling rack for about 10 minutes. Loosen the edges of the cake with a knife. Transfer it to the wire cooling rack. Let your cake cool completely on a wire rack before you do any cutting, frosting, or filling. Now time to make your frosting. Cream the shortening or butter until smooth. Combine the powdered sugar and the cocoa powder and add alternately to the shortening with the milk until you get a sweetness and a spreading consistency that you're happy with. Yum! Then add the vanilla and mix well. Then add the black food coloring last and mix well. Take your bowl of white chocolate chips and add some drops of food coloring over the top. Shake the bowl around a little bit to make sure that the food coloring touches all of the chips. It's not going to dye them red, but it will give them a nice blood splattered look and that's what you're going for. Now comes the cool part. You're gonna make that square cake into a coffin shaped cake. Get someone to help you if you don't trust yourself with a serrated knife because those things are sharp. Carefully cut off the top layer so that it's flat on top. Take your serrated knife, cut down the sides of the cake towards the bottom corners at an inward diagonal direction. Take the piece that's left, cut off a little bit of the bottom of that piece, and turn it around. Now take the pieces you cut off, trim to fit, and place them below the part you just turned to make a coffin shape. Now I'm going to decorate the top of the cake. Cut pieces from the pieces that you cut off to make a shape of a cross. Place it on the top of the iced cake. Now it's time to make your raspberry filling sauce. Take some raspberry jam and put it into a medium bowl and heat it up in the microwave until it is hot and smooth. Then add some of the package of the instant dry raspberry gelatin mix and stir it up until it's smooth. Spoon the raspberry filling over the cross. You want to let it drip off the sides a little bit. Makes it look creepier. 
Place the bloody white chocolate chips around the edge of the coffin cake. Voila! You're done! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys decide to make your own coffin cakes because that was awesome. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to me, and check out my other links in the description below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye! Warning! This cake is extremely addictive. I take no responsibilities for any health issues that may arise from consumption of this cake, or from irate friends and family members who are angry that they didn't get any of it because you got to it first.